G'day team, welcome to another video. Um, today I'm gonna to go through three uh, good habits to get into early on in Revit. These are things that you'll eventually come across, but if you um, if you focus on these, th th these three things early on, you'll see some pretty rapid improvements um, in like efficiency and general quality of work as well. And just, it's just, you know, just some good common sense stuff. Okay, the first one is you want to save like very often. Like Revit's a pretty good program, but uh, she, she crashes. And sometimes it's not necessarily something that you can predict. Um, the other day I was, uh, I was editing, it was just a, a, a detail item group. It was nothing complicated at all. I went to like pan select um, all, of this, uh, all of this detail item and it, it wasn't even one of those crashes where it was thinking for a minute. It just straight up wiped off the screen, totally gone. Luckily I save relatively often, so it wasn't too big of a deal, but certainly, certainly not something you want to uh, roll the dice with. So two ways to, to constantly save. Um, one is just to, if you can see my little keyboard down here, if you just, if you're doing some things like, you know, isolating and hiding this, doing whatever, blah, blah, just go control S. Just go control S at the end of every like, a uh, string of uh, like things that you're doing. And if you, if someone says, oh, hey, can I borrow you for a sec? Control S. It's just, it's such a good habit to get into. Additionally, if we, uh, if we go up to file options and then general, um, save reminder interval is 30 minutes. I drop that down to 15. Um, so that every 15 minutes, it's gonna pop up on your screen saying, um, do you wanna save? It's been 15 minutes. And I usually you're really busy and you're like, no, no, I'll save in a sec, I'll save in a sec. But if you do that a few times in a row, you're gonna lose an hour and a half's work. It's, it has happened and it happens a lot more than you'd want. So just generally just go, yes, let it save and continue. Or uh, at the very least, just save very often. Um, something else that is good to know is Okay, every time you save, it creates a little backup file. Uh, f uh, file. So this is our, this is the Revit file we're working on, and then we've got you know triple O four at the end here. So if I save this again, triple O five. So it kind of is a bit of an indicator about every time that you save the job, but it's also good to know that you have a backup file. So if anything happens in uh, in example or you know, the main Revit file, if that gets corrupted, this is the one that you need to be uh, like working off. And if that one gets corrupted, uh, you're pretty much doomed. So good luck, uh, have fun. Okay, the uh, second tip is use keyboard shortcuts as often as possible. Like everything that you do Pretty much everything should be a keyboard shortcut. I'm gonna make a bunch more videos about the uh, particular keyboard shortcuts that I really like and how I use them uh, to just increase the amount of efficiency that I have in the program. So I am gonna I'm gonna double back on this topic, but I'll just go over the uh, the absolute basics um, now. So uh, KS is your keyboard shortcut for keyboard shortcuts. Believe it or not. Um, let me just bring it over from the other screen here. Okay, so. You can filter these so that it's you know all defined, not defined, whatever tab. Uh, there is a bit of a filter thing. Um, going through, there's a ton. Like there's so 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 many things that you can assign a keyboard shortcut to. Uh, my advice would be just be conscious of how many times you are having to click to get something done. Um, using the mouse and like going up to, you know, say we go to ground floor detail. Okay, so then if we want to put a component in, so forgive me for being so slow with this because I, I use keyboard shortcuts religiously. Okay, so here and scroll through to, and then we'll around, cancel face, and then we'll place it on the face. We can't do that because um, if the face components, we want to put on the roof. So then we want to isolate this, which I'm pretty sure is uh, isolate. Should we down here? Nope. Yeah, it's very isolate, isolate. Oh, okay, so we'll isolate that now, so we'll go up to the component. But then I'll place that on the face, so here. So then we'll reset that. And we'll go up to the annotate, we'll draw a detail line in. Put the there. And then we want to align the value with that line. So now in the middle. And we want to delete that. Then we can tag it, so annotate. Hmm. Take that take that off. Okay. Painfully slow. I'm sure people would have skipped through that because that was just ridiculous. Um, 
Now I'll show you how I would do it with just using keyboard shortcuts in a fast, efficient manner. So let's delete that, delete that. Okay, so CM500 countertop, wham, bam, isolate it, put a new round thing in. Place on face, hide reset. Okay, much quicker, much, much, much quicker using a bunch of keyboard shortcuts, which over time I would have been sitting there thinking like, geez, this is taking a while to isolate this, this countertop. Um, yeah, just go keyboard shortcuts, search, isolate. So isolate element is IS, brilliant. So rather than having to faff around with trying to find the button and then, you know, isolate the elements, just click on it, IS. And you want to reset that, HR, brilliant so quick um i'll also show you i'll try and set it up now but i'll show you how i actually hold my hands and keyboards and everything like that so uh bear with me okay so forgive the uh the kind of the weird camera angle here but i just want to show you what i'm doing with my hands while i'm using revit so obviously you have the mouse hand which uh is pretty much always on the mouse and then this hand is always kind of floating around the uh this finger on the escape thumb on the space bar and using the uh, you know keyboard shortcuts in between. So if I was to do that, um, do that sequence again, so I'm coming through, putting another component in here, place on face, that's not gonna work, so we've got to isolate, CM, place on face. So you'll notice that my hand never really leaves the mouse uh, unless I'm typing in like an actual, um, like a, an actual sentence or something. So getting into this habit of just doing everything with with this hand and then clicking as needed with your mouse hand, I believe that's kind of max. That's about as fast as you can get. So. Okay, now the next thing, um, it's going to more apply to people who are using Revit for a living rather than if you're a student, but it's really good to keep a list of all of the things that you notice yourself doing. Like if there's a note that you have to type out again and again and again in every single new job you do, just add it to the template. So the template is what we're starting every single Revit project from and a really good template will save you way more time than the most keyboard shortcuts and whatever else in the world you can possibly come up with. Um, spending a lot of time and kind of, I guess like, you know, reach, research and development on your own template pays dividends like nothing else in Revit. It's it's almost ridiculous. You can, you can almost halve the amount of time that a job can take you to do, assuming it's not, you know, not an overly complicated job, but there is a lot of stuff that you can set up. So you can set up sheets, you can set up notes, you can set up views, tags, um, having a good like component library. So like we've got tons of stuff in our library and it's, it just saves you from having to, oh, do we have that, um, uh, you know, a, a brick pier? Oh no, we don't. Okay, so you have to go and find where the brick pier is in the, uh, you know, on the, the drive drag into the job and then oh it's, it's only 350 square brick pier we don't have a 350 by 470 oh okay so you have to modify it whereas if you have all those piers and sizes and everything just done tags ready to go it's going to save you time and it's really really does pay dividends so yeah third big tip is um, make a list of things that you notice yourself having to do and then add those to the template so you don't have to do them again. But yeah, that's three uh, three really good habits to get into early on in using Revit. Um, if you nail those three things early on, you are gonna be, you're gonna be crushing it pretty quickly. So it's just less things to worry about because it's, it's a difficult job, there's a lot to learn. So try and keep it as simple as possible for yourself. And um, yeah, you'll, you'll get there. You'll get there in no time. Just stick with it. But um, yeah, as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you got something out of this and uh, we'll talk to you all soon. Cheers.